This is Berlin. She wants to be in the film today. Okay. We gotta we gotta say hi to everybody, okay? We gotta say hi to all of our people. You ready? people it's Brittany and today we're talking about 25 books that came out earlier this year that I need to pick up so the first part of this year I must have been living under a rock because some really great books came out and I didn't know about them so now I'm evaluating all the books that came out sometime between January and the day I filmed this and figuring out which books came out that I need to pick up I have come up with 25 that's a lot of books that I need to pick up must be a really great year for books because even more great books are coming out in the fall as well. Because there's so many books on this list, I will be keeping the synopsis of these books pretty short and not going into too much detail about these books. Some of these books are pretty popular and some of them have flown under the radar. So let's get into these 25 books. The first book is The Forgotten Book by Mechthid Glasser. I think I'm saying that correctly. This is the, from the author of The Book Jumper, which is also a book I need to pick up. Emma finds an abandoned book where anything she writes in it comes true. But she's not the only one who knows about this book. And the other person who knows about this book is willing to do anything to get it from Emma. The second book is Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. Stevie Bell is determined to solve the cold case surrounding her new private school. But when new murders start happening at Ellingham Academy, Stevie realizes the past may not be staying in the past. The third book is The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert. Alice learns the fairy tales her grandmother has been writing about may be true when her mom is taken by a creature who claims to be from the hinterland where the fairy tales take place. The fourth book is This Is Not a Love Letter by Kim Purcell. Every Friday since the beginning of their relationship, Chris has written Jesse a love letter. Now that Chris has gone missing, Jesse is writing him a letter about everything that's been going on. The fifth book is Down and Across by Arvind Amati. Scott travels to Washington, D.C. seeking advice from a famous psychologist to help him settle on a practical career. While there, Scott meets Fiora and goes on an adventure that opens his eyes about who he truly is. The sixth book is The Queen's Rising by Rebecca Ross. Brina finds herself tangled up in a plot to overthrow the king, and she must decide which side to choose. Seventh book is Tess of the Road by Rachel Hartman. When Tess does something unspeakable, her family decides the only path is to send her to the nunnery. But Tess decides to choose a different path, and she goes on an adventure. The eighth book is Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi. When the king of Orisha killed the Magi, magic disappeared. Now Zeli has a chance to bring magic back, but the biggest challenge she may face is herself and controlling her magic. The ninth book is The Final Six by Alexandra Menor. 21 of the world's brightest teens compete to become the final six who travel to Europa, Jupiter's moon, and start a colony. But not all is as it seems, and something sinister may be waiting for them on Europa. The tenth book is To Kill a Kingdom by Alexandra Christo. Lyra is siren royalty until one day she does the unspeakable and kills one of her own. She has been given a punishment that fits the crime. She must live as a human. She has limited amount of time to kill Prince Alian or she must remain human. Prince Alian's sole calling is to kill all the sirens. But how far will these two go to get what they want? The eleventh book is The Astonishing Color of After by Emily XR Pan. Lee's mother turns into a bird after she takes her own life. Determined to find her mother, Lee travels to Taiwan and goes on a journey to find herself through family, history, art, love, and bravery. The twelfth book is Frat Girl by Riley Roach. Cassie goes undercover to reveal the sexist and offensive behavior of a fraternity on campus. But not everything is as black and white in the fraternity as Cassie might think. Book 13 is now a major motion picture by Corey McCarthy. Iris isn't a fan of the fantasy series her grandmother wrote, so she isn't excited when she goes to see the set of the movie based off of the books. 
She thinks about derailing the film until she gets wrapped up in the filming and she starts to question everything she knows about the series and herself. Book 14 is Beyond a Dark and Shore by Jessica Leek. Miera has an uncanny ability to control her enemy's mind and actions. She also has prophetic dreams. When she meets Leif, a Northman who shares those prophetic dreams, she realizes the two of them must team up to save their land from an even darker threat. Book 15 is Ace of Shades by Amanda Foodie. When Inez's mom disappears, she must travel to New Renee's and team up with conman Levi to unravel the secrets of her past and find her mom. The 16th book is The Sky in the Deep by Adrian Young. While fighting the rival clan Thariki, Elin sees her brother fighting with the enemy, the same brother that she saw die. When the Riki village is attacked by a clan that everyone thought was legend, Elin must bring together the two clans before everyone dies. Book 17 is Stay Sweet by Siobhan Vivian. The Mead Creamery has always been run by women, and this summer is no different until the owner, Molly, passes away. Amelia is unsure if the Creamery will continue to go on until Brady, Molly's Grant nephew comes and asks Amelia to help her run the business, but Grady has changes in mind. Book 18 is Ship It by Britta London. When a disastrous Q&A video goes viral, popular TV show Demon Hunter has a PR nightmare on their hands. To help with this, they hire fangirl Claire for the rest of their publicity tour. The 19th book is Girl Made of Stars by Ashley Herring Blake. Twins Mara and Owen are as close as twins can be, so when Owen is accused of rape by Mara's close friend Hannah, Mara must confront the past and make sense of the present. The 20th book is Onyx and Ivory by Mindy Arnett. Kate is an outsider who desperately wants two things, to ride in the relay and to keep the fact that she is a wilder a secret. When she gets entangled with the prince, Kate and the prince realize that the kingdom may be facing a darker threat. Book 21 is Lifelike by Jake Kristoff. Eve has had a really bad day and she's just found out she has a secret power, but her world comes crashing down when she finds Ezekiel a lifelike. So with her best friend Lemon Fresh and sidekick robot Cricket in tow, she goes on an adventure to find out about her past. Book 22 is Summer of Salt by Katrina Leno. Magic has always touched the women of Georgina's family, but she's still waiting for it. Throughout the summer of the storms, love, and a mysterious bird, Georgina learns about all the forms magic takes. Book 23 is Heart of Thorns by Brie Barton. Mia has trained her whole life to track and kill Greyrack women with magic until one day her dad tells her that she is to get married and no longer hunt. So Mia plans an escape from this life only to find out that she herself is a gray wreck. The 24th book is Sea Witch by Sarah Henning. This is an Ursula origin story. Evie is desperate to help the friend she thought she lost and the heart of the prince, so she reaches deep down into herself and the magic she has, but too late she realizes what she got herself into. The 25th book is Heretics Anonymous by Kate Henry. Michael is an atheist who just started attending Catholic school where he finds a group of outcasts called Heretics Anonymous. Michael encourages this group to expose the school's hypocrisies one stunt at a time until he takes one stunt a little too far. So those are my 25 books that came out this year that I really need to get my hands on. Tell me in the comments if you've read any of these books, which book I should pick up, or if there's any books I missed off of this list. I would love to add more books to my TBR. It's not too long or anything. And while you're down there, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of the bookish content that I put out. That's all for me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!